Hey guys, I just want to give you all a quick little update about my alopecia. I know it's been probably like maybe two months or so. So yeah, I'm back with an update about that. Um, the last time I left off with you all, which by the way, if you haven't seen the um, alopecia videos, click here to see my uh, last one that I did. But anywho, so yeah, as you can see, I am back with thick hair, which has always been thick, but um, as of right now, there are no bald spots, or at least I haven't found any more bald patches in my hair. Um, I probably do need to go through and just kind of make sure, but just in my normal day-to-day -day activities, as far as like parting my hair in the crown area anyway, um, I have not seen anything else uh, appear. But like I said, I do need to go through there and just kind of double check. But yeah, I'm gonna need my hubby's help because I can't see my whole head and there's just a lot of hair, so I'm gonna need some help for that. But anywho, so far, no patches. Um, as far as an update on the patches I did have, they've all grown in. The hair is getting pretty long in all the spots. I would say um, the last spot that I found, the hair there is probably like this long or so. I mean, it's pretty much growing back and you can't even tell. I mean, you couldn't really tell before that the hair was gone because I have so much hair. But um, even if I find a spot and show it to you, you can't really, it's like, you know, like it was almost never there. I mean, it's shorter than the rest of the hair, but it just blends in kind of, so yeah. Um, as far as what has helped me or what I think has helped me, um, remember before I told you all that I was getting off of the other birth control that could have caused the alopecia? So they put me on Loestrin 24 um, FE. And since switching to that medicine, like I said, I haven't had any more ball spots come up that I know of. And um, during my lab testing, during my last visit with my female doctor, um, she did discover that in my lab work, I did have a vitamin D3 deficiency. So I've been taking these um, vitamin D3 tablets every day for like the past two months or so. And, uh, oh, well you probably wanna know, what does vitamin D3 have to do with this? Um, according to the stuff I looked up online, vitamin D3 or vitamin D deficiencies can cause hair loss. So, um, that is why I'm taking these pills, so that if that was the reason why my hair fell out, it would kind of fix the problem. So between this and switching to the new birth control, I'm not sure what is doing the trick, but one of the two, or maybe both of those things, um, have helped. So I haven't found anything else. And I'm just, I'm thinking it was either the birth control or the vitamin D3 deficiency. So either way it goes, the problem has been, uh, hopefully, for now, at least I think um, cured or solved or whatever. So yeah, I'm good. So maybe if you have any problems and you can't really figure out why you're balding and your doctor really can't figure it out for you, um, perhaps you can ask them to check your vitamin D3 levels by doing like blood work because that could have something to do with it as well. So we'll get to that soon. So that's pretty much it for this update. Um, nothing really new to add about alopecia or PCOS at this point. Um, the PCOS thing is still um, going okay. The only thing I'm having a problem with is the diet. So I just need to lock down that. I'm doing Nutrisystem, the low carb or the diabetic one. So I've been on that for about two months and I haven't gained any more weight. Um, I've lost a little bit, but I'm not working out like I should be. So <laughs> hopefully I can get back on track with the whole working out thing and start to see some progress, but I've definitely not gained any weight. And uh, with Nutrisystem, you, you eat, you eat like a regular person. So you're just eating smaller portions and the food is healthier. Um, I'm eating more vegetables every day and things like that. And I do cheat. I'll cheat and I, on the weekends mostly I'll have like some pizza or something like that. No, no, I shouldn't. I'm working on it, okay? Working. So, um, <laughs> yeah, but like I said, I do need to get into the whole workout thing hardcore. I've already got the whole diet thing mostly worked out aside from my weekend cheating on the diet. and. I mean, I honestly think you do need to cheat a little bit on your diet or else you'll just go crazy. So I don't really think I have a problem with that, but I do realize I need to work out more. So that's what my goal is going to be for um, the end of May slash the month of June. Just get more active. Try to at least do um, 30 minutes of hardcore cardio a day and then maybe like do weights and things like that. Strength training uh, like every other day or something. So yeah, that's the goal with that. So I'm taking... Um, I am taking other supplements, so if you want to know about that, I'm doing like a hair growth vitamin challenge, um, and I think it's actually working, or at least I'm, you know, feeling the hair growth in other places. So, yeah, that does not sound good. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> so if you want to know about the hair supplement, skin, nails, 
challenge thingy I'm doing. Click here and uh, watch that video. I'll have lots of information there. And I've noticed the vitamins have also um, enhanced the chesticle region. So if you want to know about that, maybe if you're looking to boost your bosom size or something like that, then yeah, that just sounds really bad. Yeah, watch that video and hopefully the um, supplement information I have there can help you as well. All right, thank you all for watching. As always, be sure to check out my blog. The address is right here. Um, be sure to also like me on Facebook and on Twitter. Here is the information. Thank you for watching. Bye.